students today we study about the arithmetic progressions of 10th standard so from this video we have you have get a serial of videos series of videos of the arithmetic progression of problem solving how to solve the arithmetic progression uh, problems of the arithmetic progressions so now we take an example is an arithmetic progression so what is an arithmetic progression if we take a series of numbers that means here i take in a, for example 2 that is 5 8 11 14 and so on so this is the number of series i have taken here you observe that one the second number is how can we get the second number we for getting the 5 we have to add 3 for this one that means here 2 is the first number we have to get the for 5 we have to add 3 for this number and again for getting 8 here we have to add 3 for this one also so that that means here 5 plus 3 and this is the first term too and for getting the second term we have to add 3 here and here for this for getting the next term we have to add 3 also and also for getting the next term 11 we add the here 8 plus 3 and so on that means in this series of number we have to add a fixed number for the preceding term here we have to get the series of numbers we have to add the fixed number that is 3 for the previous that is preceding term for 2 we have add 3 and again for 5 we have add 3 and again for 8 we have add 3 so in this way we have get a series of numbers so this type of numbers is called the arithmetic progression here you observe for comparing the all the terms for the first term here 2 is the first term we have to add 3 for getting 5 and for 2 we have to add that is 6 for getting the third term that means 2 plus 6 yes then for getting the next term we have to add 2 plus 9 and so on here you observe we have to add for getting the next term for the first term the multiples of 3 here here we have to add the fixed number that means for the preceding term for the first term we have to add the multiples of that fixed term that means here we have to write this number as for first term we have to write 2 and for second term we have to add the fixed number that is one time we have to add the fixed number and then in the third term we have to add two times of the fixed number here we have to add the two times of the fixed number in the fourth term we have to add the three times of the fixed number so that means here the fixed number is get the multiples of the number of the fixed term we have to add here so now we have to conclude this one that means the first term is 2 and second term we get the first term we have to add the fixed number that is one time of the fixed number and here two times of the fixed number here three times of the fixed number and so on that means for getting a the last term or we have to take any term we have to add commonly for two we have to add the any term that means we have to add n into 3 so here for getting the nth term we have to add n in n n into 3 is it correct but we have to observe here for second term we have to add the one less for the third term we have to add the two times of the fixed number for fourth term we have to add the three times that means the next term first term is have one time second term is have two term the fourth term is have three times that means one less than the times of that one fixed number so here we have to add for getting the nth term we have to add that is n minus 1 into 3 here we have to conclude this one as the general formula if we take the first term as a 
and here we write that for the second term for a we have to add the fixed term is as taking as d 1 into d and for taking this as for the third term we have to write a plus 2 into d and for the next term we have to add a plus 3 into d sorry here we have to take that is a plus 3 into d and then at last we have to write this as a plus n minus 1 into d that means this is the nth term of the arithmetic progression here for simplifying this one we get for first term is a and the second term is a plus 1d and the third third term is a plus 2d and the fourth term is a plus 3d and so on and the last term is a plus n minus 1 into d so this is the nth term of the arithmetic progression here we have to take the first term is a1 and the second term is a2 and the third term is a3 and the fourth term is a4 and so on this is the nth term that means we have to take on that as a n here for the first term a1 is equal to a here we have to take and for a2 we write that a2 is equal to a plus only 1 d for the second term we have to take only 1 d and for the third term a3 is equal to we take a plus 2 d and also we have to take a4 that is equal to a plus 3 d that means for any term we have to take one less number of the d we have to add the part for the first time in this way we have to write the conclusion term that is a n is equal to a plus that means that is one less than this number that means here we have to take n minus 1 into d so this gives you the nth term of the arithmetic progression so this is the nth term of the arithmetic progression in arithmetic progression we have to find out any number any nth term or any term by using the formula that is a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d so for the, in the next video we have to discuss about how to solve the problems by taking this formula a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d for getting the series of the uh, problems solving we have to subscribe our channel and get the continued video